Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG. This is the Insane Nightmare series. And in this episode, we're going to get started by finding a suitable location for our next horde base. Um, so I am... Uh, let's see. This is our this is our home here. This is our tunnel, and then uh, I cleared a I cleared a path all the way through here, and then to this road to get out to this highway for the four by. I mean, it didn't really bother doing that with the motorcycle because it's a lot more agile. But with the four by, uh, you know, being how fat it its ass is, <laughs> I had to clear a path. You know, so I did that and got you know uh, lots of lumber in the process too. So that was good. So that's where we're we're located and. Uh, we're just kind of right here and my my general idea is that we're going to go into the wasteland and we're going to build our horde base there so we get the the higher game stage and the better loot and the and the challenge um so yeah as far as uh, off camera stuff i have spent quite a bit of time you can see that it's day 60 um uh, off camera just you know doing work stuff so uh the only thing i have in terms of footage is i did get from jen uh the the book that allows us to do more damage against wolves, which I'm assuming will help us, you know, in particular against dire wolves when we kill them. And if we look at um, that uh, hunter journal, uh, we just need the one for mountain lions, which I would very much like to get because... There are mountain lions in my backyard, <laughs> quite literally. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully we'll come across that. But, yeah, I got the one for wolves. Okay, so uh, we also have points. Uh, we have, I think, three points, in fact. Yes, we do. Uh, most of that has come from mining. Oh, because, I was gonna, before we do the points, uh, I did go ahead and widen the tunnel so this is now a four wide tunnel i can get the four by four th through it but it's still very very tight so at some point I'll, i may even widen it you know a another block too but at least i can actually get through the tunnel now and then uh over in this area that is strangely turned green um that was a little patch that i started mining for clay and then let's see, I made an, another crucible and some more bellows and things like that. And I really have the smelting bunker just, you know, cooking uh, all kinds of stuff right now. And I haven't really done anything else at the at the house. Hey, we don't need this home too here. Yeah, let's get that off of there. So uh, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just mostly uh, just a shit ton of mining uh, that we've done. Okay, so we are focused right now on fortitude, and we're going to take uh, get this up to five so we can get machine gunner up to three. Uh, and I will pay attention to living off the land, pain tolerance, and healing factor as well. Um, those are the other ones that I'm interested in. Um, at some point, we're going to respec. Iron gut, in terms of food, is just not an issue anymore. It's still useful because I think... Yeah, your your buffs last longer, so it's still useful, but cardio is not useful to us at all anymore. Because, I mean, I'm just, we don't need it, right? Um, I'm either traveling in a fast vehicle, or I'm in, in heavy armor and able to take some hits, so we don't necessarily need to run fast. So that I won't be retaking when we do a respec. Uh, but anyway, now we have level 3 in machine guns. This is our oh shit weapon, so we do 30% more damage, 15% faster fire rate, and 20% faster reload plus we get stamina uh you know for hits too so pretty useful and definitely going to help when we're trying to save our butt okay we don't have a lot of time before night um so let's go ahead and drive up this road here and like i said i want to be solidly into the wasteland for the horde base in fact let's look at something here see we're still in the burnt forest so our game stage is 212 and then if we get all the way here into the wasteland. Oh, shit. Um, we'll probably do the horde base in this area directly in front of me uh, by this house because it's a nice flat area. 
Uh, but if we look at our game stage now, uh, we are at 322. <laughs> That's crazy. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think this is going to be the site of our new horde base. Um, and I have, I, I'm not going to share with you at this point what that is going to be because I want to do a little bit of a, you know, I want to think it through a little bit more. But uh, I believe this is where we will do it. And maybe what we could do too is we could build some mechanism to get to that house as a fallback in case the base completely fails. Um, I'm not not sure about that. I mean, that thought just actually came to my mind right this moment. So, but it's a possibility. Uh, you know, I've uh, obviously I've done this house before in. Well, I guess that wouldn't be obvious to all of you. I have done this house before. <laughs> and uh, so I'd have to make sure that there would be no way for the Zeeks to be able to get up to the roof um, as a part of that process. But that's not something I'm particularly concerned about right at the moment. So I am actually on my way. Oh, here he is. I was going to say, I thought I saw a Zeke coming. Uh, back to get another uh, load and most likely you know whatever I bring back from the forest base will probably be the last load that we'll bring because um, I think I'll be able to get everything that I you know that I essentially would need and if we leave anything there at all it would just be maybe some extra supplies for for that horde base because I am I am going to keep that horde base there and I'm still going to you know have it as an option for us to use and in fact see next horde is 64 right 50 no 61 really is that much time gone by holy shit <laughs> there's no way I'm going to have this base ready for uh, by tomorrow night I have completely lost track of time but I, I did a shit ton of mining you guys I mean it took me a long time to carve out two more rows in that tunnel. That is a long tunnel. So I, you know, I was just watching YouTube and it's kind of zoning out and mighting. So yeah. All right. Well, we are definitely going to do the horde at, at the tower base. Um, tomorrow night, there's absolutely no way I can have this ready. So, um, what I'm going to do then is go, what I'd actually like to do is go wrench a shit ton of cars and get a bunch of mechanical parts. I already got quite a bit of gunpowder that I've, you know, accumulated or made and use grenades this time. Oh, there's a landmine right there for the horde. And then, uh, what I'm going to do after the horde night um, is come back here and, and clear all of that flat area that you see, you know, out, out here. We'll, we'll, we'll clear a big area out here. So it's nice and flat and there's no obstructions. And then we'll get started with the building of the new horde base. That is the plan Stan. So I think at this point, um, there isn't really a whole lot more for me to show you on camera because I, you know, I got to go make the trip and bring all the shit back here. Um, and go, you know, start wrenching cars. In fact, did I bring my salvage stuff with me? I didn't, but I don't want to salvage right now because I, I need to save room, you know, to bring everything back. So I'm going to go do that and then um, I may actually... Uh, start up on Horde Night 61 for the second part of this episode. We'll just kind of see how things go. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, guys, I'm back. And yeah, I'm a noob. <laughs> I got my days mixed up. Uh, Horde Night's not till day 63. Um, however, I didn't waste any of that time because what I have been doing is preparing for the Horde Night. And... Um, so, you know, we're ready to go pretty much. Uh, I could potentially make a few more explosives. Uh, what I did was um, I made uh, 150 grenades, plus we have another 44 uh, pipe bombs, and we have 44 molotovs. 
Um, and then, you know, I loaded everything up, got, you know, got prepared and started going towards the horde base back in the forest on day, uh, you know, 61. It was getting close to tonight. And then I looked up and I said, hey, wait a minute, that's not red. <laughs> and realized, oh, shit, it's day 63.61. So anyway, um, yeah, so we are pretty much ready to go for the horde night when it does happen. And so obviously I'm back at the base here. And um, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do some stuff around the base. Um, let's let's f do uh, a little bit of focus on farming here. So uh, what I've done is I've created as many farming plots as I had materials to to do. Uh, so we have nine in there, and uh, let's see. So we have a total of eighteen farming plots. Uh, oh, also, yeah, we got a couple magazines that I looted. Oh, and I also made the uh, legendary or or uh, epic or whatever you want to call it, purple impact driver too. So I used that, you know, to go around and, and rent some cars to get more parts to make the grenades. Anyway, let's go ahead and wear the nerdy and let's read this. And this. Okay. There's just a couple of magazines that I found in the cars, you know, when I was out doing uh, the wrenching. And I'm going to put this back in here. We do have um, some farming outfits. I wonder if... I'm trying to decide if I want to make higher level farming stuff right now. Let's look at something here. I mean, farming is is fine and good, but it's not really our high priority. We really, you know, should be focusing on our combat armor set probably first before anything else. But let's just look at it. So if we go to crafting and we go to armor, uh. Why doesn't that not show up there? I don't know. Uh, but let's just go far. Yeah, farmer. So um, we can make legendary. It's going to cost us six crafting kits and um, 25 forged steel. So if they're all... Yeah, they're all 25 forged steel, so it's going to cost us 100 forged steel and four legendary parts, iron leather, and uh, 24, yeah, 24 armor crafting kits. What is the end benefit? Gain more health and stamina from food. Does that health and stamina disappear when you remove the armor? In other words, if I have the full armor on, and then I eat something, and then I remove the armor, does the buff go away or, you know, go back to normal? Hmm. All right, what does each individual thing do? Okay, so the boots um, has a chance to gain a seed when harvesting. Okay, that's super useful. The gloves... Increase rifle damage, not useful at all for farming purposes. The hat, I think, gives us more seed. Uh, increases the chance to find seeds in loot. Oh, shit. Okay, so we have to wear that while we're looting stuff. Eh, that's not very practical, especially considering this is medium armor and we're, you know, we've invested in heavy armor. Uh, and then the outfit itself. As a chance to harvest an extra crop. So it seems to me like only the boots and the outfit are really the only useful two from the set. Adds a chance to gain a seed when harvesting. Okay, so I'm not, uh, you know, the th here's the thing. I'm, I'm not going to wear like a full farmer's outfit every time I eat something. And if I do that, and I still lose it anyways, I mean, it's kind of pointless, right? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to scrap 
this farmer chess piece and this farmer hat. Um, I, I yeah, that sucks. Cause that means you got to wear the goddamn thing every time you loot something. And who the hell's gonna do that? <laughs> Right. I mean, maybe if you were on a multiplayer server and your job was to be the farmer, sure. But, yeah, I just don't see the point in that. So we're going to scrap that, too. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make the boots and the chest piece. But we are going to make the legendary version of those. Okay, so um, I already have three kits there. Let's grab a stack of armor parts. And um, so let's track the outfit first. We need to make six more of the armor parts. Or the crafting kits, rather. So let's see. We're going to need sewing kits and duct tape for that. I don't have any duct tape, but I have plenty of glue and cloth. Now, let's look at something. I'm just looking at what I need glue directly for. Oh, we need to make some rad remover mods too. Okay, so yeah, we don't want to burn all of our glue. Let's um let's maybe make 20 duct tape. Now, concerning rad remover mods, I actually have been meaning to do this and I keep forgetting. Um right, Let's track that for a second. Okay, what uh, I, I think we should put it on the sledgehammer. Probably in place of either the burning shaft mod, which is kind of weak sauce. It's great for light, but it doesn't do very much damage. I'd prefer to keep the hunter mod on there just for the 25% extra damage to animals. So I think what we'll do is we'll put a rad remover on the sledgehammer and we'll replace the burning shaft. Um... This, yeah, this has an extra slot, so we could uh, we could put one on there. This, I'm not typically going to be hitting greenies with my machete, so I'm not too worried about that. We already have one on the shotgun. Um, we're going to need to also put one on here because this is our oh shit weapon. And honestly, the bipod mod is when aiming the weapons, and I don't... Um, I don't aim the M60 that much. I do sometimes, but not very often. So I think that, you know, taking that tripod mod off of here, or even for that matter, the reflex sight mod, yeah, either one we could probably give up in place, uh, you know, so we could put a rad remover. Okay, so what's that? That's one for you, one for you, one for you. And then the sniper rifle. See, we do aim with the sniper rifle. Hmm. And we we use it a lot against animals. So I think we probably don't put it on here. Right. Okay, so that means we need three rad remover mods. Let's make those. So we're gonna need 15 steel. Uh 15 glue. Let's just grab the uh, that glue, five mechanicals, and springs. Okay, so let's make three of these. There we go. Okay, now back to the uh, armor repair kits. So for the farming stuff... Uh, we want to make the we want to make the boots and the outfit, right? Okay, so let's do the outfit first. So we need three more. Uh, well, we need a total of nine more of the armor kits. Okay, so let's track those first. And uh, oh shit, we need twenty duct tape for one kit. Holy shit, that's expensive. Okay, let's go grab as many bones as I currently have, which is that many. And I think we're going to need a bunch of water too, right?
but we can get started with the you know the planting of, of the crops before we have you know that um, that armor ready. Put those back in there for now. Okay, so we have 18 crop plots. Now, these crop plots here uh, are the ones that are up against the wall. And so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the paintbrush. And we're going to... Uh, we don't want to paint all sides. We just want to paint the bottom. There. Okay, so that takes care of that. And we're going to need to do the same thing um, for any crop plots that we put in in these places that have, you know, the concrete. So this, for example, what we want to do is we want to come here and we want to paint it like this so it looks like it's concrete. Right? And then we'll do the same thing here. Good. Now, uh, I don't know if I showed this to you guys or not earlier, but... This is actually just a painted concrete block. So I'm going to have to bust all of these out all the way along wherever we see these because I'm going to replace them with real crop plots, but then we'll paint them again to look like the concrete, and then we can plant our stuff in them. So we need to do this for 18 slots. So we'll do these six first. All right, let's put uh, these first six here. And then what we want to do is grab the paintbrush. And we want this to be all sides. Uh, seriously? <laughs> I, I didn't think it would do that. Okay, never mind. We don't want it to be all sides. That's funny. Okay, so we just want it to be, uh, yeah, we want to turn that off. Right, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess we can't do it up on the top there. Um, I think that one's okay. Uh, we should be able to just erase that, right? That's, um... No, I think we only have the erase option for, um, oh, no, we just used the left mouse button. Okay. Never mind. And then we'll hit it from this side. Okay. So that gives us places to plant more stuff. Um, we'll have to, we'll decide what we're going to plant after I get the rest of the plots in. So this is all done. I didn't, I didn't do this one cause we have that light there, but you know what? Fuck the light. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and do this one too. Okay, I want to hit this from uh, this one from down below so I don't do the same thing and paint the top part of it. There we go. Okay, so uh, I think the next section will just be all of this stuff along here. Um, let's see, we have a total of 11 more, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll end somewhere over here, so... In fact, I tell you what, let's um let's just do the ones along here and we'll leave that stuff in place for now. I am planning on planting an actual big garden too, uh, probably over somewhere that way, but still in the yard. And primarily, if not exclusively, what we will plant there will be super corn. And we're gonna use that to make money. Okay, so we have 10 of the 11 open up here I think what we're gonna do for this land claim block is let's drop it down um, underneath here could we even bury it yeah let's bury it even lower just so it's out of sight, just because it's going to look kind of funky otherwise. Okay. Okay. 
That can go in there, and then this can go there. I'll have to get some cobble for to finish upgrading that. And that's as many crop lots as I can currently make. Let's get them painted up. Uh, no, we want uh, we want this texture here. Oh, what the hell? Let's just paint that too. <laughs> we'll cheat. There we go. Okay, so these three will have to be replaced later when we have more materials to make more. But now we can plant crops on all of those. Okay, I just recently... I, I think I am going to go ahead and buy the filters for those. Um, not right away, but eventually. So, might as well. Because at some point we're going to have more money we know what to do with, right? So... Okay, so we'll put you back in there. Let's go back downstairs now and see how we're doing on making that glue. We have 61 so far. Got the rad removers. Okay, so we want to put one on here and we're going to replace it uh, that. Oh, shit. You know what? Uh... One of these, so it's not compatible with the Hunter mod. How interesting. Okay. Well, all right. I guess we won't use our sledgehammer too much against animals. I mean, against smaller animals we will, but if we're up against like a zombie bear or a dire wolf. I wonder if even, those guys are even classified as animals now that I think about it. So, anyway, okay. Let's go here, and then... So we're going to have the same problem, though, aren't we? We're not going to be able to put it on there. Hmm. Okay, well... I mean, I see us using this to do sneak shots on greenies, so I think we should have the rad remover on there. And I'm not sure what else we would put in there. We'll, we'll go see what we have in our safe for that. And then for the M60... I guess we are going to have to remove this and put that on. Which kind of sucks because here again, if I get get into a bad situation with a like a bear or something and we need to use that, we're, we're losing that 25% damage. But I think it's more important for this weapon to be able to deal with greenies when they rush us, which they will. Because that's how they are. They're bastards that way. Right. Okay. So, um, let's do, whoop, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. Let's go into here and we'll take a look at what other weapon mods we have. Uh, which is the one that needed something else? I think it was you, right? Yeah. All right. What else do we have that we could put on a crossbow? Uh, we could put the scope on it. You can't put an arrow rest on a crossbow. We already have the polymer string. I don't think you can put a foregrip mod on a crossbow. Let's see. You can. I didn't know that. How interesting. Uh, oh, we already have a scope. Okay. Well, yeah, let's put this on there then. That never even occurred to me. But, yeah, I guess it'll help with accuracy if we fire this thing from the hip, which we very rarely will do. But it also gives it more damage, too, so it's still worth doing. I guess we'll have to put all of these in here. So you have a rad remover. Uh, is there something else that we could put on here instead? I don't think so. We could maybe put the durability, uh, the structural brace mod on here instead of the fire. Uh, you know, for for uh, durability. I don't think I want to change any of those. This is already taken care of. Do I have a choke mod? I got a duck bill. Eh. Nah, I think I'd rather keep the sawed off. 
If I had a choke, I might put a choke on instead, but let's keep it as it is. And then um, I think we have everything on here that we want on here. Again, the reflex sight is arguably not necessary for this weapon since we're going to be shooting from the hip most of the time. But if we could we do the muzzle break instead? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And we'll put the reflex in there for something else later. Alrighty, anyway. I know this is kind of a a random doing random shit episode. We're kind of doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You're making more glue. Okay, so what are we doing? We're trying to make armor crafting kits. That's what we're trying to do. Uh so we've got the yeah, we've got the parts. Uh, we're, it's Oh, yeah, right. It's the duct tape that we need. Wait a second. Why was I thinking I needed 20 duct tape? What the hell, man? Okay. Let's see if we can kill her before she screams. I haven't... um. I haven't gone around and um, upgraded, you know, all of those bars there. Those are only a thousand hit points. I need to get that done. It's on the to-do list. I just haven't done it yet. So if we got a really big screamer horde come in, that could be a problem. Also, in spite of the fact that I have two land claim blocks in place, zombies are still spawning inside of my property. I think what's happening is they're they're probably spawning outside of the bounds because I think the bounds end somewhere right about here. So they're probably spawning, and same with animals too, out here and then just kind of working their way over. So there's not really much I can do about that because to completely cover this entire estate, we would need, well, we would need more than four land claims and we can only have a total of three. So we're just going to have to deal with it when it happens. It's not a big deal, you know, but we need to be cognizant of it is what I'm trying to say. Okay, anyway, back to this. Why didn't I look at this earlier and it said we needed 20 duct tape for an armor crafting kit? But it only says one. Okay. Well, let's grab the 20 duct tape that we do have. And uh, what else do we need? Sewing kits. So I should have a bunch of sewing kits somewhere. Ah, they're here. Okay. All right, so we need to make a total of nine of these. Yeah, I'm, I totally misread that, so. Sometimes that happens. So what are we going to do? We're going to make the farmer chest piece and the farmer boots. We've concluded that the hat and the gloves are not really going to be all that useful. At least not directly for farming. So let's do, uh, let's do the outfit first. We'll track that. I've got, uh, how many legendary parts do I have? I got 10. So we're going to need two of those. We're going to need 50 leather. Here, fuck it. Let's just put all that in there. We're going to need 50 iron. I've mostly just been making our iron in this forge because my two, I have two forges back in our cave, our forging cave. They're dedicated to just making steel. Okay, so we got all of that. Grab those. Okay, so now we should be able to make the farmer outfit. That only takes two seconds. Nice. Boom. Okay, and then we just need more, a few more of these. Oh, I grabbed them all. Farmer boots. That's the other one, right? Adds a chance to gain a seed when harvesting. Yep, that's the other one we want. Okay, let's craft those. All right, excellent. We are ready to do some farming. Shit, there's more zombies out there. Don't attack my vehicle, little fucker. Um, 
Um, all right. So uh, let me put a couple things away here first before we get started farming. Okay, let's put the chest piece on and the boots on. And then we're going to grab... What the hell? I have more crop pots in here? I guess I do. Forgot about that. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to finish cutting all of these out and then these out, and then we'll see where we are. All right. Before we um, finish breaking this one, let's put the other farm plots in because I'm afraid that if we remove this, it might screw up the support for the rest of these guys. Oh, that's... Oh. oh, I see. Okay. Well, I guess we didn't need to worry about that then. So we still have four more. Uh, one, two, three, four. We could put them there. Um, I don't think we have anything else up here, right? No. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. We'll put them right here. All right, guys, I did my classical th thought I was recording when I wasn't recording, so completely missed this last segment here. So let me just cover what we did. So uh, basically, I planted um, pumpkins and potatoes and let's see, what did we do? Coffee. I think those are and hops. Yeah. OK, so those are all the things we planted down here. And then um, I don't remember if I had planted the chrysanthemum or goldenrod or not, but uh, all of these crop plots have chrysanthemum and goldenrod, except for these three also have coffee. And that's the total amount of farm plots that we currently have available to us. Um, I may have, sh I, don't, I don't remember if I showed myself harvesting what was here before, but basically we, uh, I got a total of, um, I, I got five product and four seeds each time I harvested one of these plants, which is really damn good, you know, with the with the uh, armor. <clears throat> so we harvested a total of 20 goldenrod and 20 chrysanthemum, and um, the the, uh, the seeds that we got from those two. So then I replanted those seeds over here, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So sorry about that, but sometimes I do that. I forget to... Or I think I'm recording when I'm not, you know, and uh, it happens. So that was pretty much it. I didn't really do anything else to speak of. I did talk about how I'm eventually going to clear all of that shit out of there and probably turn the backyard into a green lawn. Um, and I also talked about how this area over here, this kind of flat area, that's where we're going to turn into our big garden where we're primarily going to plant super corn for making money. These guys are full. And so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So what I think I'm going to do is let you guys go here, and then I'm going to spend the rest of today uh, and possibly some time tomorrow also working on our new horde base location. So once again, that's right here. This area here, I'm going to clear all of the debris and the crap and shit out of there and, and get started with the build. I'm not expecting to have that ready by, you know, night 63. And if I don't, then of course we'll just do the tower one more time, but at least I'm ready for that. I've got all the repaired materials. I've got all the explosives we need. We just have to go out there and do it. So um, I may or may not start another episode before the Horde Night starts. It just kind of depends upon how the timing goes. All right. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.